daunting task indeed. But with new technology, it seems anything is possible. And who better than this new tech-savvy generation to pull it off? The city of Joburg is challenging young software developers under the age of 30 to create an app that will enable it to document and maintain addresses and street names throughout the city. We aren't looking really for the gee whiz uh, super geeks who can do amazing stuff. Um, I think we are looking for people who come up with creative ideas and can at least produce a working prototype. Um, uh, once the idea goes further, if it, if it were to win the prize, we can then bring to bear other uh, developers to assist them if they need assistance. Your normal development app would not have a, a map to it, that is location. And if you go the GIS route, there'd be a map that goes with it. Then you can see where you are, and in relation to that, you can see the surrounds of that point, which means you get a far better view of what you're talking about, as opposed to just the written word or a table or a chart for that matter. We often take it for granted, but having an address can literally be a life or death call. Apart from needing any emergency help, citizens also need to provide proof of residence in order to get an ID document. And well, without an ID, you can't do much at all. A lot of people in Joburg don't have addresses. And if you, if you uh, don't have an address, you've got a real problem because if you have to call an ambulance, if you have to vote, if, you, um, if, you, if, if there's a census, how do people know where you are, who you are? It's such an important piece of information of a smart city. It's a point of service delivery. So we have to serve the citizens with, with services like power, like water, and like refuse removal, for instance. So we cannot look after our citizens properly if we don't have the location and the address. Johannesburg spans 1,645 square kilometers and has more than 1.5 million households. There are 800,000 properties, which include a mix of commercial, several types of urban dwellings and plots. Not all of these are properly documented. Informal settlements pose a further challenge. According to the UN, almost 25% of the city's population also live in informal settlements where there are no proper streets. With an informal settlement, you normally have the main dwelling and then you have backyard shacks as well. And there's not a formal layout, so you don't have a street name or you don't even have a street. With an address, you cannot have just the number. You have to attach it to a specific street as well. Applicants have until the 31st of August to submit their ideas. The winning idea will earn $10,000. All finalists will be trained on developing applications and on how to use location-based technology. Sumitra Nadu, CCTV, Johannesburg.